The slots? Quarter slots. Hold on a second, you're forgetting something. Tick tock. Those are only for meritorious service. Don't worry. You're gonna get a chance to earn this back. Look, I, uh, I appreciate your feeling that you were cheated. But, uh, you know, I, I can't open a file for every losing gambler. I'm an officer of the law. No, well, the casinos are just another sucker. There is a, there's a program that I could recommend. Gamblers Anonymous. I don't have a gambling problem. Well, the first step is acceptance. I'll take this to the federal level if you won't review those security tapes with me. And down the river we go. Six of hearts. Two suited big cards? Is that what you started with? But you only raised pre-flop, no re-raise. Ah, you have a piece of this. A big piece. But not big enough. Thousand. <laughs> I knew it. I've picked up something on you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your betting pattern. When you start with a big pair, you open at 200. If you don't improve, you try and chase the wankers out on the river with a big bet. I raise a thousand. Now you're on the run, sunshine. How much you have in front of you? Sorry? How much money you got? Thirty-eight hundred. Good. All right. I'm putting you all in. How's that fit my betting pattern, sunshine? <laughs> <sighs> I was counting on it. That six minted me. Cool. A set. You're minted? I'm bonded. Up the ladder to the six. Three, four. You got all my chips with them little cards. Got broke with itty bitty cards. You played them like you had a pair. No, I played them because I have a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Next case. You said five minutes, right? Yeah, here. Vegas pass key. Touch anything. Yeah, I won't. See my skate key and raise me a hula hoop. <laughs> Pump it up seven thousand. You got a call now, Johnny. I mean, you can't get bluffed by a seven-year-old. I'm twelve. Oh, oh, oh! She's twelve. 
No, I'm not going anywhere. I call. Straight to the nine. You have the ass end of it. <laughs> Screw this. You owe me seven grand. Yeah? Well, like they say on the playground, little girl, make me. Hey, if you refuse to pay what you wagered, you will never get another game here. And by here, I mean the state. Is that clear? Now throw it in. Yeah. Come on, I was gonna pay anyway. <laughs> now you did. Johnny Gacciano always pays his debts. Little bitch. Thanks, mister. Mm. You're gonna have to be careful with the gum. Against a better player, I give something away. <laughs> There's a nice bear trap you set there. Thanks. Where are you from? Wherever I can find a live game? I can see that. You got moves. Moves. Yeah. Cash? No. I could stake it. Buddy, you were right next to me in the cheap seats. Yeah, yeah. But I got a guy. A guy? Yeah. Heavyweight. But first, you gotta prove yourself. Don Everest, known in the poker world as the Matador, for his ability to lure the young bulls into the ring and cut them down. But he hasn't won the world championship in almost a decade. Don, cause for concern? Well, Norm, uh, that's poker. The chips go in the middle, cards get flipped over, and uh, some carry on and some head for home. But has the game passed you by? Well, I can't be boss forever. Uh, but I challenge anyone in here to take me on. You ready for a game? <laughs> oh, no. At the World Poker Championships, I'm Norman Chad, ESPN. That was great, Don. Just great. Thanks. Maybe we can get something regular going during the tournament. Sure. Okay. Come by to check up on your investment. I get statements to that effect. We're down five quarters running now. The board won't have it. schedule for after the tournament then just win it you got it straight yeah I don't raise your blind if you're in a hand I'm out of the hand unless I'm building you a pot if you re-raise I fold and when the time is right I bluff my stack off to you right and I see you at the final table you sound sure aren't you what was that about oh I wanted some of your good luck shirt. I passed. This is a satellite tournament. Winner gets his or her entry paid into the big guys. Shop up and deal. In the casinos being the backbone of this town, you really ought to respect our self-governance. As important as they are, the casinos still need to be held accountable. Just show me the tapes. This is exactly what I wanted to do first thing in the morning, by the way. Thank you. Luke. Put up security tape on uh, table two from two nights ago, about 10 o'clock. Uh, all right. Oh. Sir, those tapes were wiped. Wiped? A couple of days ago, and they're already wiped. Um, we're on a weekly rotation. That was the last night of the week. If you would have gotten here two and a half hours ago, you could have looked at them all day long. If you'd only been here two and a half hours ago. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you, gentlemen? Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, Lou. 